payroll tax holiday is not free money. Atlanta, for some of you, your paychecks might be bigger because of President Trump's new payroll tax deferment, which started September 1st. But you really need to know that this is not free money. If your employer participates in this presidential executive order, yes, you will have a bigger paycheck for the rest of 2020. But starting January 2021, you will have to begin to pay it back. What are you guys' thoughts about that? I also want to clarify also the legal rationale behind this is that the executive branch cannot raise their own money without Congress, so they can't actually cut taxes, but they can defer collection of the taxes. Oh, cool. So what Donald Trump has done is, so you say, I won't collect payroll taxes until next until the end of the year, but you still owe it. It's a dumb policy to cut payroll taxes to fix unemployment problems because the way people who pay payroll taxes are people who already have a job. If you're an employer, it's a medium to long-term problem if your employees opt into this. Um, partly because I have no the employer has no guarantee the same person will be working with them in January than in like September. Yeah. What, so what happens if in that the situation? employer's stuck holding the bag? Really? So someone ha so there's two sides of the payroll taxes: the employer side and the employee side. Mm -hmm. um, the employer pays both, but on the employee side, this gets subtracted from your net payment. But I but the employer takes makes care that it gets gets the government. Um, so if an employee, let's say, quits on December 25th with the payroll tax done, the government will still go back to the employer because that's where the money comes from to pay the payroll tax. Gotcha. And in theory, what would happen is if the same person's employed, the, the employer would just deduct more money out of future paychecks um, to pay the payroll tax loan. I'll call, I'll, more yeah. or less like a loan. Unless Congress comes back in and forgives it. Which is, I assume that's the game of chicken he's trying to play on it. But what he's mostly done is scare employers away from offering it to their employees. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't from from an employee standpoint, like reading an article like that, right? Like, I don't, I don't think that would ever make sense for me to do to take a temporary loan for no reason because I already I mean, theoretically, are, it's a, theoretically it's a good idea if you were, if you took that yeah. money, invested it, and beat the market. Sure, but I mean, the market right now is like <laughs> tanking. But I, I guess I think what a lot of people are looking at too. Or beat the interest rate of the yeah. Or you you take that and you set that aside for something like Christmas. Yeah, especially okay. for somebody who maybe yeah, is is but, has a lower income come and has kids you but know this might make yeah. christmas easier but even cynically if you took that money put it in a savings account and had to pay it back later you could keep the interest growth yeah that is correct thanks for watching i hope you found this useful or at least enjoyable um listening to us um rip apart the great legal questions from the depths of the internet it would help us out if you could like share or leave a comment below this video also if you want to protect your family through the estate planning process please give us a call our direct number is 404-738-9538 and you can also leave us an email at the address below